I've always been fascinated by the aesthetics of cycling. And I always find myself thinking about things like pedal strokes and um, position on the bike and things like that. And I think that, that was one of the things that really struck me as a kid was watching like Sunday in Hell and watching Francesca Moser on the cobbles. And you would never realise he was on cobbles if you didn't see the road he was riding on because of his smoothness. And I always find myself like trying to replicate the, the best possible riding position when I'm on it and whether that's dropping my heels slightly or I'm a bit uncomfortable because I'm quite stiff or I'm not quite straight on my saddle that I'm cost constantly adjusting myself because when I find that perfection it's quite a bit hard to explain this but when I find that perfection in, in how I'm riding a bike it somehow flows and is easier for me and and the worst days on a bike are the days where you don't feel quite comfortable, can't get comfortable when you say you've got a saddle sore or you're, you're a little bit twisted because you've been sat in a car all day. Or And it, it, I find I'm ne it's never enjoyable then. I just want to get off the bike and crack me back or something. Or, you know, because... And so that in some ways it's kind of... I have to be at one with the bike and comfortable on the bike because then, then it's easy and then I enjoy it. And And it's very much... The hour record is is that really that if it's flowing and you're on it and you feel at one with the bike, then the, then it, it, in some ways it's quite easy. And when when I've had quite a few of those in the last few years where the performance feels has gone absolutely to perfection, and you hear people talking about like Dave Brailsford always say that he's the best at executing these rides and that. And for me, executing those rides is, is about being at one with the bike. This is quite <laughs> sounds quite guru like this, but. That is as big a part of it for me, really. And and I hear it in other sports that are completely different to cycling, but I hear people like um, Jensen Button and that talking on them and they say the, the balance of the car wasn't quite right today. I didn't quite have it, the feel of it. And that's how it sums up for me, bike riding, or his first touch wasn't as good in a football match. And when those things were, look at his first touch. For me, that that is what I'm after with cycling. Is the minute you get on the bike, you know how you feel. As, as you roll off from a set of traffic lights, you roll off from your front gate, or if I come off the bus at a race and I roll to the sign on that first pedal rev, I know how I'm going to feel. Oh, that my legs feel sore today. It's the first thing that comes to your mind. And, that, and that's, that's a constant for me every day I get out on my bike. And by the time I get uh, the first part of my lane to get out onto open roads is about 600 metres. By the time I get to that end point, I know how the ride, the rest of the ride is going to go. And um, it's, uh, it, it's those things that give me satisfaction, really. And in some ways, I, I, I've been thinking about it more and more recently, is, is when I retire, I never want the effort, effortless feet, sensation of cycling to go away. And I know at some point it's going to go away because I won't be as fit as I am. So some of the hills I go up that hardly touch the sides, at some point in the future, they're going to get really hard. Whether it's riding around Mallorca or 17 minutes up Look or 23 minutes up Zacalobra in Mallorca or whatever, at some point that's going to take me 45 minutes. <laughs> and it, it's the effortless in cycling and being at one with the bike that I really enjoy. It's doing five hours, six hours, coming back and feeling like you've done one. Um, and that will change at some point and I'm not looking forward to that. And, and that's the, my biggest satisfaction in cycling is when I can do five hours, come home, and it, I've just enjoyed every moment of it. And it's not a slog. It's not hard work. I wasn't constantly adjusting myself on the bike all day. The position didn't quite feel right. You know, just, or I, I could have put my saddle up a little bit too mil. I'm going to drop it too mil. Tire feels a bit flat. The tire brakes are rubbing on. No, they're not. It's just, it's hard. You know, the constant things that every cyclist goes through, really. But it's perfection for me, that. Run the bike.